My friends, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell. And if you think you're already subscribed, please check to make sure YouTube hasn't unsubscribed you without your permission. It happens every day. And if you really like what you see, please consider becoming a channel member or even leaving a super thanks donation to help keep us going. I promise to answer each and every one I receive. Thank you for watching, my friends, and now, on to the video. My friends, pop culture is being assailed on all fronts by cultural vandals who hate us all and want to destroy or corrupt the things we love. Comicsgate was an early canary in the coal mine, sounding the alarm about the rot inside comic books as radical SJW activists took a wrecking ball to franchise after franchise, demolishing continuity, transforming established characters into woke parodies of themselves, turning Captain America into a Hydra traitor, having a storyline where Superman is stripped of powers and put in a foreign jail where he is sexually assaulted for months at a time, Batman has a gay past, Green Lantern's gay, Wolverine is gay or bi or some other crap, I stopped reading mainstream comics a long time ago, despite being a lifelong comic book fan, because I saw where they were headed and I was right to stop. Because now, Marvel is a woke wasteland, scorched earth, and DC is almost as bad. Sales of mainstream comics are in the toilet now, and the American comic book industry is all but dead. So, while they are paying the price for their failures, fans are suffering too, those who haven't moved on as I have anyway. And essentially, Marvel and DC are wastelands where the wokists are stripped, the crops bare, and the swarm has moved on. To gaming. Folks, Sweet Baby Inc. is the latest example of this kind of cultural vandalism in games. What we are seeing exposed here is a slow-moving cultural coup, an assault on all fronts. Movies, TV shows, comics, and now, games. Games are typically harder to wokeify than movies, because many games don't have elaborate storylines that you can pervert. But companies like Sweet Baby Inc. are finding ways to inject wokeness into games of all kinds and ruin them. They're essentially woke consultants that go around combing through developing games and making DEI guided suggestions about how the team can add woke messaging to their projects. There are a number of these nasty little pod people companies around, multiplying and latching on to passing projects like leeches in a pond, moving from project to project like Johnny Apple woke, planting seeds of queerness and feminism and racism wherever they go. Case in point, Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. In that game, Harley Quinn and the Suicide Squad humiliate and murder hero after hero. Batman dies like a punk. Captain Boomerang kills the Flash and then pisses on him. There's a lot of disgusting hatred in Suicide Squad, my friends, fueled by hatred of white heroes who the woke perceive as part of the patriarchy. And as a result, that game has failed spectacularly and deservedly, and yet, the problem persists, and like all contagions, the woke contagion spreads from Ground Zero pockets like Sweet Baby Inc. into other hosts. Case in point, EA's development studio Cliffhanger Games, it has recently come out that a developer who cut her teeth at Sweet Baby Inc. went on to lead a development team of her own, and it was her stated aim to make damn sure that white people were not hired. This shocking story, revealing the hatred underneath the woke movement, is documented at theshortcut.com in an article titled, Not Hiring White People Was a Priority of EA and X Sweet Baby Inc. Developer Behind New Marvel Game. Turns out this woman of color, Danny LaLanders, who is currently working on a Black Panther game for EA and Marvel, just to illustrate how this woke virus spread throughout the industry, started out learning the ways of woke at Sweet Baby Inc., then moved on to head up an indie game called Validate. And having learned her lessons well at Sweet Baby Inc., she made not hiring white people her priority on the project. 
Hmm, I know a lawyer, dude, but that seems pretty damn shady to me. It's probably illegal. It's discrimination. And even in these weak-ass, rainbow-fart-huffing, snowflake times, discriminating against a job seeker because he's white can get your ass in a lot of legal trouble. If there's any justice left in the world, it can, Harvey Cthulhu. Though increasingly, I'm coming to doubt that justice still prevails in America. But we'll let that pass for now. You want to know just how bad the situation is, folks? Here's LaLondra's own words explaining why she didn't hire any white people to work on her indie project Validate after leaving Sweet Baby Inc. as quoted in the article, quote, I have a team of 21 right now for Validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for an indie game. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people, mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me." Unquote. And that, my friends, is called segregation. The very thing that the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. fought against. The segregation of whites from blacks. And yet, in doing this, La Londres was carrying on the work not of Dr. King, but of segregationists like George Wallace and various men with white hoods. They didn't want the races mingling either, did they? Bravo, young lady. Your family must be proud. The hypocrisy is unbelievable. And I don't think they even truly understand how evil segregation is. I don't think they understand that this is segregation. Lalanders goes on to explain, quote, I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating unsafe environments. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something may be okay, but it was really a microaggression. And no one wants to deal with that when they're trying to make a game they love." Unquote. This just shows the kind of people that hide behind the skirts of wokeness. Time after time we see that these activists act in a manner that betrays their true aims. Segregation, discrimination, vilification, in short, they're fucking assholes. And so, this is who EA has hired to work on their upcoming Black Panther game for Marvel. That's why I said at the start of this video, beware the woke plague, this is how it spreads. But the good news is, it looks like Lalandra and that game developer may pay a price for what seems to be, at least to my uneducated eyes, worker discrimination. The law states, as outlined by the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission in prohibited employment policies and practices, it is illegal to discriminate against someone, applicant, or employee because of that person's race, color, religion, sex, including gender identity, sexual orientation, and pregnancy, national origin, age, 40 or older, disability or genetic information." Unquote. Meanwhile, Sweet Baby Inc. is currently getting blasted on all fronts hard as their role in all of this political propaganda and cultural vandalism in gaming is exposed, so much so that the mainstream media is rallying to their cause, crying about how they're suffering backlash, how their business is being impacted, and there's even a group out there cataloging games that Sweet Baby Inc. consulted on so that people can more easily avoid those games. The wages of woke is broke. I say it all the time, and every day it gets proven in you. Yes, indeed, Harvey Cthulhu. And I want to thank you for reminding us all that good things can still happen in this world. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry.
Ha, 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 ha,